Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Don't play with it. Don't play with her. They were a Valentine's Day gift, which so cute. Mm. She made my baby look so handsome. And then I got two of the Huda Beauty brow pencils. I got the shade black brown. Is this supposed to be like that? Okay. Cute. I don't want to put that on my face. Hold on. Yes. Yes. This is exactly what I needed. And you'll drop like 10 pounds in like five days. It's wild. Is that someone for you? I have to reflect and look back on what am I actually doing to put those things into place. So for now, in this new year, I really plan to just dig into that like all the way. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly, your new favorite YouTuber. And if you've already been here, as always, thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my channel and again welcome back it has been a little minute since I have picked up the vlog camera this morning I did like a quick little little montage of my morning and then I came to Pilates I'm actually getting ready to leave Pilates right now and I have to run a couple of errands really quick before heading back home but I wanted to get the vlog started for real and say hi guys welcome to another vlog my voice cracked welcome to another vlog if you haven't already go ahead and tap that subscribe button and become a seashell or a bombshell or both we would love to have you here as part of the family so don't forget to subscribe i need to run to the vitamin shop you guys lately i have been taking magnesium so a year or so ago i used to what i used to do with magnesium i used to actually take it as like a dietary supplement and I didn't realize that this lady was in the car in front of me and she's like staring directly into my car but whatever at that time i was taking it as like a dietary supplement so i was taking it to lose weight and it worked um i was taking mago seven pills and they work very very well they're huge pills you have to take like four of them it's crazy it's like or four or five of them it's crazy but my doctor actually put me back onto magnesium basically just told me to start taking magnesium as a supplement to help regulate like my sleeping pattern my hormones listen i'm no physician i don't know all the logistics behind all this stuff but i've been back taking it but the one that i had was one that i got from target and it has magnesium oxide in it and i think that's the one that is harder to digest i don't know what what it is with that one but some of the benefits of taking magnesium i guess it's supposed to help with like you know, be like a mood booster help with like your energy and um, regulate your sleep schedule and just a few other things you guys can look up what magnesium does for the body but like I said I used to take it as like a dietary supplement so I wasn't taking it consistently I would only take it for like five days at a time and when I tell you it sends you to the bathroom and you'll drop like 
10 pounds in like five days it's wild i'm not encouraging that whatsoever <laughs> i'm just telling you guys what i did in the past but anyway i want to incorporate magnesium into my day-to-day -day. and the one that i had I, like i said i got it from target it wasn't a good one then i ended up going to the drugstore and getting one but i want to get one from the vitamin shop so that's what i'm gonna stop and do i'm also out of chlorophyll the best chlorophyll to me in my opinion is the one that's at whole foods but i'm out of my second bottle of that one and i really don't feel like driving out to whole foods all the stores that are by my pilates class i just have like a bunch of like stores like trader joe's is over here target the vitamin shop everything is over here by my pilates class so i'm not gonna drive all the way out to whole foods it's just it's too far out it doesn't make sense so i'm gonna go over here and get um i want to get some chlorophyll get some vitamins get some magnesium and then i made like a list of things that i need so i kind of want to make salmon and garlic mashed potatoes i have a taste for that so i want to get the ingredients for that there are a bunch of things that i have been loving lately and i always love putting you guys onto things so i'm gonna talk to you guys about that once i get home it's like a bunch of random things it's like something for everyone i know you guys love knowing what i'm into lately so i'll give you guys a whole rundown on that like my favorite makeup home things you know stuff like that skincare clothing items food items <laughs> i got like everything on here um let me see i have pilates the vitamin shop i want to stop and get a new candle for my living room because I'm like damn near burned out so I'm gonna stop at home goods and get that and then I want to go to Target I need to stop at Trader Joe's because I need to get some fresh eucalyptus leaves let me go to my grocery list I need to get some plant-based sausages bagels and cream cheese black beans butter I put sushi on here eggs I need new soil for my plants because I want to repot my plants before the spring season onion powder pepper okay so all those things that i have on my list you guys i bring my ipad with me like i could literally just do this on my phone but my ipad is like my <laughs> holy grail it has all my stuff on it like i said it's been a minute since i picked up the vlog camera i actually have oh my god is this recording yes okay i actually have a vlog that is already done that i filmed the end of last month into this month today is february 19th Sunday, February 19th, it's one o'clock. If it's enough footage in this vlog, then I'll just go ahead and edit it tonight and then post it tomorrow because I feel so bad. Like I have a whole vlog that's finished and done, but a lot of the times with brands and stuff, like you have to wait for brand approval before you can post the video and it's just a lot. So it kind of threw off my schedule. I'm one of those people, like I don't want to post vlogs out of order, but that vlog is gonna be out of order. Y'all are gonna see the dates on it and I'm so sorry about that, but there isn't really anything that i could have done so yeah anyway and that is one of the things about being a content creator certain things just come up that are beyond your control and it just is what it is we're not going to dwell on that we're just moving forward with a new vlog today like i said i'm leaving from pilates right now i actually scheduled two pilates classes today i was waitlisted for one and it never came through and i'm just like whatever because this one was actually hard af i was like whatever it's fine if i don't make it to two i can just go ahead and get like all the things done that i want to get done but one thing that i did want to point out is the fact that there are a lot of men that have been joining my Pilates class and I think that is so cool like for men to come into a class that has been like promoted by women and like you know it's more so like more women who take the class I love to see more men in Pilates studios and in Pilates classes I'm really working to try to get back consistent or just working to get back consistent a lot of the times like the classes are waitlisted so it's kind of hard to get in classes more now since it's more of like a popular workout you know so I have to like basically try to book my classes a month in advance and I don't know it's just kind of it's been kind of difficult with that so yeah anyway again welcome back don't forget to subscribe i'm about to head to my first store i actually do also want to stop at kohl's the sephora that's in kohl's i want to go in there and see if they have the fenty gloss bomb heat and hot chocolate you guys it's so hard to get my hands on it again like it's sold out and fenty never restocked it so yeah that's been kind of a bummer i'm gonna look it up online and see if they even have it in stock i'm not gonna waste my time and go in you know what let me stop repeating myself for one and i'm not gonna tell y'all every store that we're gonna go in because we're gonna go in the store so what am i, what am I doing <laughs> You guys look at this. 
this like scammy dupe pajama set. It's like the black with the, and then it also comes in blue. Here's the blue one, but here's the tank top shirt. The black tank top, the brown. And it's so cute, they have little nightgowns. I even like this little waffle set. It's so cute. This candle right here, oh my god, it smells so good. This one is Masala Rose. I'm not a crazy fan, but the Centaur and Ginger. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is the 40 ounce one. I don't know why, but this smells like pickles. It's weird that this smells, maybe if I take the paper off. Um, it's just a woman. I'm sussing it out. I like this one. All right, I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one and let's see how it burns before I decide to spend 30 on the bigger one. Guess I don't need to go to Home Goods for a candle. shows welcome to another day in the vlog i know yesterday i didn't do what i was supposed to do i was on the phone with my cousin and we get in our little praise and worship sessions and we stay on the phone for hours so yeah i didn't end up cooking or anything yesterday like i wanted to i had the worst headache so i was just like you know what we're gonna try again tomorrow so here we are it is monday um, it's President's Day, so the kids don't have school, so Leah's still at her dad's house, but I'm getting ready to go to Pilates. So I just have on this black zip-up jacket that's from Amazon. I got it in a size large. It's linked in my storefront, so check out my storefront down below and you guys will see it. But yeah, it's a black zip-up jacket. It's really, really cute. Honestly, I think I'm going to reorder it and go a size up because... I like to wear long sleeve workout shirts during the winter time and because it fits so snug, I feel, I just feel a little bit restricted because of how snug it fits. So I think I'm gonna order another one and get a size up and then I could just use this one for the summertime when it's, or like spring, when I'm just gonna have on like a sports bra underneath. I have on this little workout set, it's all black, it's long sleeve. And then I'm just wearing my New Balance sneakers with this with some black long socks. I have on my uh, Louis Vuitton, I think it's called like a pochette. I just kind of crisscross the gold chain that comes on it and then I'm wearing it like a little fanny pack. So it's so cute. I've been trying to find like different ways to wear my Louis Vuitton bags and wallets and stuff just to you know make it a little more stylish because i feel like sometimes just wearing it on the shoulder crossbody stuff like that but i just like to switch it up and this one i just think it's so cute and classy and you can use this bag as like a clutch you can wear it like as a shoulder bag you can wear a crossbody you can wear it you know long on the shoulder it's so many different ways that you can wear this bag so i just discovered wearing it as a fanny pack and I just think it's so cute. So anyway, um, I have these Prada sunglasses on. I actually just recently got this pair. You guys know of my other ones that are a little bit smaller. These are a little more cat eye and chic and I'm obsessed with them. So yeah, they were a Valentine's Day gift, which so cute. So I'm gonna go to Pilates, sweat it out really quick, come home, shower, and see what I get into for the day. Let's grab my phone. My Pilates socks and my little sunscreen. Decided to put my vest on because I'm not gonna wear a jacket or a coat. So this is also linked to my Amazon storefront. But let's go before I'm <laughs> late or miss my class. Today's class was not nearly as hard as it normally is. I think it might be time for me to start or try to do a higher class. I did Pilates 1.5 today. And it was not crazy hard. Maybe it was the instructor because this is a different instructor than the one that I'm used to. But it was not, it wasn't crazy hard today. Let me see. And workout. I burned 300 calories, which is 
pretty good, but I like barely sweat at all. Like I, no way my baby hair should still be straight. <laughs> anyway, before I head home, cause I need to go home and take a shower still, even though I didn't sweat or anything. I'm gonna stop and pick Leia up from her dad's house. Maybe stop and like get her some food. There's this breakfast spot that I like going to and it's out this way. Maybe I'll go there. Oh, the caramel. Mm -mm. We'll go there, have breakfast really quick and then we'll head back home. The lip gloss that I just put on was this Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss in the shade 726, if anyone is wondering. Let me go pick up my baby feeder and then we'll, we'll head home. Maybe later on I can cook the salmon and mashed potatoes. I'm gonna look up a recipe for like a creamy sauce. If you guys have ever been to Soleil in Chicago, they have this one dish. It's like salmon, mashed potatoes, and it comes with like shrimp too and then they use this I don't know if it's like a garlic sauce but it is so good it's the only thing that I ever get when I go to Soleil and then also too I told you guys yesterday that I would show you guys my like favorite items things that I've been loving and I feel like I should actually put that in its own separate video what do you guys think I think that should be its own separate video and I need to stop trying to compile things into a vlog that should go in like an actual video or like a video of its own and put like different content ideas on my channel or different types of content on my channel instead of just doing only vlogs and that's another reason why I haven't been posting as consistently because I don't film any other content and you guys have been asking for like beauty content you guys have been asking for like fashion content I need to get out of my own head and give the girls what the girls are asking for and that way I can do what I wore this week type of videos I can do weekly vlogs and like incorporate the content or like the filming concepts and stuff like behind the scenes I could do beauty content as well products that I'm loving favorites like there are so many different content ideas out there that I can be taking advantage of and I feel like I'm just not because I'm afraid of them not performing as well because my vlogs have been doing well and you guys have been like really into this and I feel like beauty content I'm like do people even still watch I mean I know I still watch beauty content but I don't know I'm too much in my own head like that's where I started so I need to get back to it so yeah it's just something that I've been thinking about and I like I said I need to get out of my own head and just put out the content because I'm like less anxious about posting on TikTok than I am YouTube because I feel like TikTok is like you don't have to think too much into it. Like when I get a new item, I'm like, oh, let me get on TikTok, let me tell them about it real quick. And it's quick, I can film a quick little clip, edit really quick if I need to, and then upload it. With YouTube, it's a whole production. And if it doesn't perform well, you're like, dang, that sucks, like I put in <laughs> so much effort and nobody cares. <laughs> I don't know, I'm doing too much, I need some coffee. I'll see you guys when I pick up my baby. I miss her. She's been gone since Friday. people do when they um, on TikTok. when when they want the bill but the waiter has a brother that doesn't even help you don't have sunglasses <laughs> why would I bring sunglasses to my dad's house why would you not I bring my sunglasses everywhere I go 
So we just came out of Sephora, the one at Kohl's. I got another Charlotte Tilbury little small powder. I like to use this to set underneath my eyes before I bake or really like set. Why is it? It's crooked. And then I got three NARS concealers. This is my like day-to-day go-to concealer. So I got Amand, I got Walnut, and then I also got Caramel. I got Truffle last time and I returned it because it did not match me. So I'm gonna try Walnut and see how I like it. And then I got two of the Huda Beauty brow pencils. I got the shade black brown i use this one and i use the benefit one we're gonna go home now i wanted to go to crate and barrel but leia <laughs> leia is over here um having an episode what's wrong i'm tired you tired oh you want to take a nap no i'm gonna watch wakanda forever <laughs> okay let's go home let's go home let's go home my little boy is probably like where is my mom oh yeah i haven't seen his haircut have they no, they haven't seen his haircut. I don't want to see it at the same time. Yeah. I don't like his haircut. I don't like how the lady did it this what time. What if she watches your videos? We are back at Starbucks on Leia again. My girl is feeling generous these days. <laughs> oh, 40 yeah. even now. She has 40? I just have 53. 40 even. I just have 53. 18. And I'm... Because it was 13. It was 13. I feel 13. like... 18. Yeah, I feel like Starbucks by our house is way more expensive. Thank you. Yeah, because didn't I pay Ooh, that $17? Good. Yeah, but you also got a cake pop. Okay. You got a cake pop, but the cake pop is like, what, $2, right? Or what? We got a little cake pop. I got a vanilla. No. Oh my God, I'm about to lie. I got a, a pistachio cream cold brew with extra topping. I don't even know what this topping is. Okay, I got... Venti, oh, pink hold on, drink, a venti pink drink with vanilla sweet cold foam on top and it's so good mm. it looks good it's bright pink it's bright pink. and she got it made with oat milk yeah mm. i got sivan to try one you did yeah did you like it yeah now we're gonna head home because this one is claiming that she's so tired i'm so tired you guys, Leia almost didn't want to go to breakfast this morning because she was like, I don't, she was at her dad's house and she was like, I don't have any of my hair stuff here. <laughs> She's like, I don't have any of my hair stuff here. I'm not going. You can always tell when, when a kid has been at their dad's house. What were you going to say? It's like done, but it's not like how. No, your hair is perfectly fine. You look gorgeous always. When Leia was younger and she would go to her dad's house. I would look a hot mess. No, she just always, she would have, like her hair would be so crazy. Her outfit would be like, whatever. She would have like shoes that didn't match what she was wearing. <laughs> her dad would be like, this is what she wanted to wear. I just let her wear what she wanted to wear. He used to let me pick up my clothes. Yeah, he didn't care. This mine, this mine. Ooh. <laughs> no! No, Leia's dad, he'd be like, it's fine. She wanted to wear that, so I let her wear it. He He's didn't care. He's terrible. When Jay used to mismatch, he would be like, what are you wearing? Why are you mismatching? Like, <laughs> you know how to match clothes. Go match clothes. <laughs> and when I would wear it, he'd be like, hey, I mean, that's what she wanted to wear. So. Yeah, he'd be like, this is what she wanted to put on. I'm like, gosh, I'm a daddy's girl. Well, not a daddy's girl, but like, you know what I mean. You're like mom and dad's girl. Yeah, dad gets me out of trouble. Mom gets me into trouble. <laughs> Dad gets you out of trouble. Mom gets you in trouble. Yeah. Mom lets me go places. Dad qu is questions, questions everything. Everything. Who you going with? What time? When? <laughs> Where? <laughs> How long? Why? Why? Do you need to go. <laughs> Why do you want to go? <laughs> no, because he was like, who's gonna be? When I was going to Epic, he was like, who's gonna be there? I was like, um, me, Katie, Delilah. He was like, and. <laughs> I mean, there's good things and then there's bad things. Mom makes me take naps. Dad don't care. I do not make you take naps. She doesn't make me naps. take naps, but she gets really happy when I take naps. Oh my god, I love it. Cause I know Mom that you're. Mom barges into my room when I don't want her to be in there. Dad doesn't. I knock. I knock. You knock and then open it as soon as you're done. Oh. And I don't even get to say come in, come like in. nothing like that. Yeah. My dad knocks and waits until I say come in. I guess that's why it's a mom and a dad. <laughs> guess that's why there's a difference. This is pretty random, but I am in the mood to do my makeup, so. 
I don't have anywhere to go as of right now, but I just want to sit down and do my makeup. It's kind of therapeutic for me. I'm using this mirror that I got from Kiss. They sent me some PR from their false scare line. I got a bunch of new products recently, so I figured I could just use them and show you guys. So I'm using this Lancome Advanced Genifuc. 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 I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's a serum. And I've been using this lately during the day. And I really, really like it. I love the way that it makes my skin feel so smooth. As you guys know, Rihanna recently performed at the Super Bowl. And I actually got the Super Bowl PR package from Fenty. Uh oh. I was so excited. I've already like opened everything because I love Fenty. They are my favorite makeup brand, honestly. One of the things that they sent me was something from Fenty Skin, which I have never received anything from Fenty Skin, so I was really excited about that. So they sent me their Hydra Visor Moisturizer. I kind of want to try it out. I've never used this before. There we go. Ooh. It's like lilac. It's pretty. Okay. Mm. I actually like the smell of it. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> I always get so many questions about my eye cream or the eye cream that I like to use. So lately I've been using this one by Herbivore. It's the Supernova 5% Vitamin C plus Caffeine Brightening Eye Cream. Vitamin C actually helps to improve darkness. I really like the consistency of this eye cream. It feels very hydrating and very moisturizing. But as I was saying, vitamin C helps to improve darkness. So if you deal with like dark under eyes or whatever, try using, or if you have darkness on your face or hyperpigmentation, try using a product that has vitamin C or using like a vitamin C serum or a vitamin C eye cream. It really does help with darkness and hyperpigmentation. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm just gonna use the, or one of the concealers that I picked up today. I'm gonna use chestnut, no, walnut. I'm gonna use walnut underneath my eyes. This will be like a first test of this color because I feel like Amand is a bit dark. Like this part of my face is like brighter and I feel like using a mond, it's just a little too dark. So I'm hoping for the best with walnut. It's kind of yellow. I'm gonna go on top with caramel or should I blend that? Mm. No, you know what? I'm gonna blend it out first. It's like my skin complexion, but just a smidget lighter. And it has that yellow tint that helps to correct under my eyes. So I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna go on top with caramel now. I'm just gonna put a little bit there, a little bit there. And then let's put a little bit, a little bit in the corner. Let's put a little bit here too. You know what, what the hell? And I'm gonna take a mond and I'm just gonna cover any darkness. I just have like a few dark spots from some period pimples. And I'm just gonna blend out the lighter color first. You guys may remember from Vlogmas when I used these two products from Fenty. This is the Eavesdrop blurred skin tint in the shade 18 and then I'm gonna go in with the Ease Drop Lip All Over Glow Enhancer. I'm just gonna use like a drop of the All Over Glow and mix in the skin tint. And then I just, I just dot it on my face. And I'm using the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to blend it out. I wasn't going to try to contour, but I'm just going to add a little bit of contour. I'm using the Fenty Match Sticks in the shade Truffle. So 
with this one, you have to blend it quick because she dries very quickly. I'm not even gonna worry about my forehead because the headband is there. I'm gonna add a little bit to my nose. I'm gonna start underneath my eyes with the Charlotte Silvery Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. I'm gonna set everywhere that I applied concealer. Okay, cute. I'm using the Hola Bronzer by Benefit in the shade Toasted. And it's really pretty and warm. And when I bronze, I like to use a fluffy brush because it just really helps to blow it out. Oh, I feel like that's gonna be a lot. <sighs> Shoot. Okay, whatever, go for it. <gasps> oh God. I just take my foundation brush and go over it. Soften it out a bit. I kind of want to use this Bionic Blush in the shade Beyond by Milk. It comes in like a cute little tube like this. It's this pretty sort of like plum purple. I've never tried a blush like this before and it's like, it's like running a little bit. Is it supposed to be like that? I don't wanna put that on my face. Hold on. Can you guys see that? That's so pretty. I feel like I should have applied this before I put powder on. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Wish me luck. I need to use this on bare skin because this color is absolutely beautiful. What's so crazy is I actually have a blush, like a powder blush this color from MAC that I got a very long time ago. I'm not even sure if I should be even using it, but. Okay, brows are on. I'm gonna go in with this Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. And I'm just going to, uh, oh, and it's in the shade Herb. I'm just gonna brush that through my brows. I kind of want to set my blush, but I don't have my blush that is this color out here. So I'm probably just gonna go in with the Dior. I'm gonna put on the Dior blush in the shade Rosy Glow. On top of that plum color. Oh, this is stunning. My lashes are looking kind of thin, so I'm gonna use the Falscara by Kiss. And it just has these little like separated pieces. This is honestly what I used to do with my lashes before I started getting lash extensions, lash extensions consistently. I would just cut up my lashes my little lash band, strip lashes, and I would apply them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh. I'm like dropping everything. What the fuck? Let me just see if the length is gonna look crazy. Cause my lash extensions, I think I'm like, my longest length is like an 18. I think I can get away with putting on a few of these. It'll just give the hybrid look which is what I get anyway. The lash glue that I'm gonna use is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. I'm gonna put one right there, it's like a gap. This eye doesn't need anything. Like this eye is this eye is fine and this is always my good eye. But this eye now matches this one. I don't need to do anything to this eye and I'm glad because <laughs> that was a struggle. I'm gonna set my face using the Rare Beauty powder in the shade medium deep. Now I'm gonna set underneath my eyes using the Sigma Soft Focus Setting Powder in the shade Vanilla Bean. And this is really the key to meshing the blush with the under eye. I'm just taking the black liner and smudging it along my lash line and then I'm gonna smudge it out a little bit. And this really helps to 
give your eyes a very sultry look. And I just take a shader brush, smudge it out a little bit. I'm gonna add some highlight. This is from Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Mesmerize. And it is so freaking pretty. I've been loving highlight on my nose again and on my forehead. I don't even know if I can do my forehead. Yeah, I can. I guess I can. It's time for lips. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 3 Intense Lip Liner. And then this also came in the Fenty package. It has the little football. Can you guys see that? football. This one is in the shade Riri. And then I'm just going to go on top with this gloss. This is also in the shade Riri and it's very pretty. It has like a little bit of shimmer. I'm probably gonna take this all off because I have nowhere to go. Just really wanted to play my makeup. It is a little bit later. Actually, much later. Is this in slow mo? Oh my god, hold on. Okay, it wasn't in slow mo, you guys. I was shook. I thought I wasn't filming in slow mo this whole time. Anyway, I changed my lip because I had to have a picture taken for a brand. So I figured why I have my makeup done, I might as well get my picture that I needed. So so I just changed into my little Tupac t-shirt and I realized that I didn't show you guys the arrangement from yesterday so I want to show you guys because it turned out so cute so here it is look at all of the greenery and then I added in some baby's breath I don't know this just reminds me of spring and I'm <laughs> just looking forward to spring and summer. I got like all these little green leaves and then just some more greenery. It's just a bunch of greenery and then I threw in some baby's breath to make it look, you know, just to add like a touch of color and I love it and I just have it sitting in the middle of the dining room table. The dining room still looks kind of plain but I feel like adding the greenery to the centerpiece it's kind of blocking that wall over there but if i had the little console table i feel like it would just look better but for now this is what we're working with and i like it it's cute and then i don't know if i told you guys but i ended up getting this vase i don't even know if you can see it let me move this so the vase is like hold on let me turn this light on or let me turn the light up a little bit so you can see it's this vase and i just have a bunch of eucalyptus leaves i put in there and i added like baby's breath pieces just throughout and then this candle you guys this is the one that i got yesterday when i went to target the scent is centaur and ginger and it smells so good so i am gonna go back and get the bigger one but I will link this one down below for anyone who does like the Santal scent. And then I just moved the other vase that I had on the table. I just moved it over there. And then I switched this little seat with that one. It might not stay like this. I'm just playing around with stuff to see what I like. It's just so cozy. Some of you guys were commenting on my video. Actually, a lot of you guys were commenting on my video telling me that you really like the living room and you know the rug and everything you guys like the way that it came together i'm gonna light the fire pit <laughs> that makes some of you guys anxious so i moved it you guys it's no longer on the banister it's over here which probably won't make you feel any better but it's better than it being over there I just got a few packages in from Amazon 
that I want to open with you guys. I've been ordering so much off of Amazon lately. It's not even funny. What is this? Oh, sunglasses. I was like, I'm pretty sure everything I ordered came in a bigger box. Oh, stop. You guys, how freaking cute. Hold on, let me show you. They're fogged. Not they're fogged up. They're fogging up because they were out in the cold for Lord knows how long. But y'all, can we just take a moment? <laughs> Fog and all, let's just take a moment. And if you know me, then you know I'm a sunglass queen. And lately I've been into the cat eye frame, like the bigger cat eye frame. You guys know I already have like the smaller cat eye, but the bigger cat eye frame, don't play with it. <laughs> don't play with her. These are gonna be linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you haven't, go ahead and check that out because I've been adding some good stuff, okay. Which one do I want to open next? What is um Oh, this is my I know what this is. This is my little Nespresso. Cause I needed a bigger one. How cute is that? Cause this one is just like for the smaller ones, but this one, oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah, okay. So I now have both of these. Low key, I did not need another one because I do have this one, but I like this one. I like how this one looks. And I feel like it would look so much better when I'm doing my little coffee videos. So yeah, okay, let's open this one. I think this one is my, I want to say that this one is my um, my little desk thing, but I also ordered a jumpsuit and it should be in here. Yeah, it is. Okay. I already have one of these. I have it in black, but I wanted to get it in cream. And I feel like this is going to be in my favorites video, so I'm not going to take it out the packet right now because I kind of want to do a TikTok also. Been posting more on TikTok. Go follow me at I am Shelly with two Y's as well as Pinterest at I am Shelly with a whole lot of Y's. This is my little laptop thing because since I've gotten my laptop I like to move it around and work on it from um I like to work on it from like the kitchen bar area and you know I have it sitting on my desk and just you know when I'm on the go I feel like I can bring this right I hope that's what this is gonna do for me because child what is happening so I'll just slide this on here and slide this on here. yes Okay, I'm gonna go bring you guys into my bedroom where my desk is, my little office area that I have in there. And, oh, this is garbage. I'll take that out in a second. I'm gonna show you guys what my desk is looking like. I think I may have showed you guys earlier in the vlog, I'm not sure, but let's go in there so we can see if this thing was even worth it. So right now I have my laptop sitting in this little thing which is just where I, I usually put like all my papers and contracts and stuff that I need to sign but it is also the home of my 100,000 subscriber plaque so I'm just gonna move my keyboard over and oh yeah oh wait this is the wrong way and I like that it has these I like that it has the little grips on there. 
super convenient so let's put that there i needed something that was like sitting up a little bit hold on let's see yes 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 this is exactly what i I've been sitting at my desk editing on my laptop. I've been trying to like utilize my desk space, my desk space. So I got rid of the light that I had in here. It was like, um, here, let me show you. I had this one desk light and it took up a little bit of room. And this desk, it's a decent size, but I do have this thing here because my computer sits here, like my desktop. I don't want to get rid of this. I like having it sitting up. Um, it just makes it easier when I'm sitting here doing work on my computer and stuff. It also has little storage space. So here I have both of my iPads and like all of my little, you know, extra AirPods, batteries, little stuff like that, extra mouse, things like that. And then I usually just put this keyboard underneath here. Like when I'm not using this, I just put it under there. I have my printer underneath as you guys can see but yeah so i just have all my stuff but on this computer is where i've been doing a lot of my editing and stuff so i feel like this just gave like extra space and then when it's closed you can still see my plaque and this light that's what i was getting to i had a light over here that was like taking up a little bit of space so i ordered this light off of amazon and i'm gonna link it in my amazon storefront for anyone who works from home it'll be under maybe like office must-haves or something like that i think this may be the brightest no it's not so as you guys can see it goes from like these super bright white that is usually in offices and then you can bring it down it's more of a warmer and it just keeps getting warmer and then you can also change like how bright you want it that's as low as it goes and then you can bring it all the way up and it just clamps onto the desk right there so it doesn't take up any desk space i'm obsessed with this thing it has the little grip things at the bottom so it doesn't it doesn't slide i can bring this into the dining room area where i usually edit at the little bar top this is also something that I feel like will help with my posture because I feel like I'm always like at the computer and I, now I could be like <laughs> Milo is that someone for you? No. <laughs> Milo boy come here let the vlog you guys he got his hair cut the lady swore she knew what she was doing. Y'all look at Milo. She was like, I know how to do a mohawk. Cause the girl who usually cuts his hair, she quit. So we had to let another girl do it. And he's looking at me like he knows that I'm talking about him. So um, she made my baby look so handsome. Right, you're so cute. Say hi to the vlog. No, you cannot get on mom's desk. <laughs> you guys look at him. Is it focused on you? Mm, he's so cute. <laughs> like, I feel like she left his ears too long. I just, I don't know. Do you feel like she left your ears too long? Did you want your ears to be cut? You feel like you would be able to hear better? Because you really don't listen. So maybe she should have cut your ears shorter. He's <sighs> my baby. He's my baby, baby, baby. Okay, you want to go? Okay, bye. Hey.